gameplay. Yeah, let's go. All right, so yeah, let's go. Yeah, go ahead, H. All right. Hello? Is anybody here? So this is a new uh, look of uh, uh, Raccoon uh, Police Department office. If you play the uh, original Resident Evil 2, uh, uh, you notice that the uh, the layout is uh, pretty much uh, new. You know, it's completely changed. But the uh, you know iconic like objects uh, such as the the um, the s statue uh, there is uh, it's it's there. But uh, we actually uh, uh, we provide a completely new uh, uh, look of the. Uh, um, uh LPD uh, office mm. here. So, uh, hey, uh, this is a you know safe box. Yeah. <laughs> hey, um, item box. I mean, um, yes, we have uh, typewriters as yes, well. Yes, typewriter for uh, <laughs> saving. Um, right. So, uh, LPD computer. So, what's coming here? Let's have a look. There has to be someone here. So Leon is actually it's pretty um so um he's a young uh uh Not cop in his first day uh here so he's uh, he's uh, you know suddenly he's uh, um uh into the uh, uh this Raccoon City uh instant but he's a uh, you know um how to say um he's a responsible guy <laughs> so you know he just looked at you know someone's actually you know uh, still alive in this uh, RPD building, so he's actually trying to save him. Right. Yeah. So you kind of see he's over there. Yes. Based on the glowing uh, glowing map, map square, I should say. So uh, actually, uh, one of the questions we got on social. Uh, this is okay. from. Uh, we kind of covered this already a little bit, but I think it's pronounced Tunnet Twenty. Uh, asks, are classic items such as herbs and item boxes back? And I think we just saw one of those. <laughs> right, yeah, yes, yes, yeah. Yeah, we just saw the uh, item box and, of, you know, herbs. Yes, of course, you know, yeah, <laughs> it's in the game. So We got that question no a lot with Resident Evil 7 as yeah. well. Yes, yes, I think yes. The answer is usually it wouldn't be Resident Evil 7 if those were one right. of the games. Right, right. Okay. So the... Um, one of the uh, the uh, concept of the uh, the development uh, for uh, Resident Evil 2, uh, the visual look is actually um, uh, wetness and darkness. Mm. So thanks to the uh, the RE engine um, uh, ability, so um, look at the, you know all the uh, kind of you know uh, the darkness and also you know the lighting is actually uh, you know it's pretty. Um, I say it. It shows a really good um, like atmosphere inside the uh, the building. You know, completely like um, it's the light is uh, um, it's gone. Yeah, so there's lots of extremes of light and yes. darkness. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, H was Kinda mentioning there. before that the the UI has also been kept quite minimal in order to show off the beautiful graphics. I think. Right. So it only pops up responsively as needed, rather than yeah. crowding it out. Jesus. It's pretty brutal. Open up! Oh. Hurry! Open up! Open this goddamn door! So this must be the guy on, you know, on the laptop. Get you out. There's a survivor. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. It's quite early in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I haven't had breakfast yet. <laughs> I don't think I want it now. Yeah. Said you had one job. Yeah, really H, H, uh, <laughs> H, do you have like any anything to say here? Yeah. Nanika, comment on this? Here, here. Asaichi de. Yeah, but. Yeah. 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 
is not funny. Okay. Look at the zombies. So, um, we um, uh, really uh, emphasize the uh, creation of the uh, truly terrifying uh, zombie mm. um, in this game. This is uh, you know one of the uh, you know the main um, um, features of the game. Oh, he just, you know, uh, went into the, uh, uh, this is a bathroom, <laughs> uh, yeah, where, are. yeah, where the, you know. Oh, it's a classic item. Yeah, there, there was actually, you know, uh, in, in, in the original Resident Evil 2, there, were, there was no uh, a bathroom, so but we actually added it. Yeah. <laughs> People pointed out there was no place for officers right. to, right. to go in the original game, so it's an extra level of verisimilitude. Huh? <laughs> Important addition to the... Uh, I think someone did mention that on like Twitter or Facebook somewhere. Yeah. I didn't catch it, but <laughs> they're everywhere. Uh, speaking of some of the items, I, I saw this in uh, in chat as well. Like someone mentioned, that there would be uh, ink ribbons in the game. Ink ribbon is something that you see in chat. That everyone is looking at. Ink ribbon. Ink ribbon. Ink ribbon is there. Yes. Okay. <laughs> ink ribbons are in there. <laughs> ink ribbon. All right. A, th a lot of people have these iconic items in mind when, yeah. you, when you say Resident Evil, like the, the first words that come to mind are herbs, ink ribbons, typewriters, right. and, you know, these classic imagery. I think the team have said that they, they recognize that everyone has really precious memories of all this stuff, so yeah. they want to preserve that as much as possible. That's great. Whilst like checking other things up and making it fresh. Yeah, so Makes sense. Um, yeah, it's very iconic stuff. So. Yes, let's, let's talk about the, the saving system yeah. and the new uh, Resident Evil 2. So no, it's uh, H. I mean, at the beginning of the this gameplay, H actually showed us the uh, the typewriter. It's actually uh, we can uh, we can uh, uh, save that uh, on that uh, typewriter um, without uh, ink ribbon. And also, there's a uh, uh, auto save uh, points um, in the game. But we also um, um, we we'll provide like uh, the um, uh, assisted. Uh, um, difficulty level and also the uh, if you know uh, people mm. uh, prefer kind of traditional mm. kind of more kind of you know uh, uh, restrict uh, uh, gameplay we also um, will provide you know the difficulty level for okay. that um, uh, audience There's as well so what we're seeing here is kind of aiming at standard right yes yeah. a lot of people are excited to see Marvin <laughs> He's a very nice guy. <laughs> I'm sure you did what you could, Leon. Does anyone know what started this? Not a clue. But honestly, all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful. Yeah, well, I was supposed to start last week, and I got a call to stay away. I wish I'd come here sooner. You're here now, Leon. You probably noticed while watching the gameplay, but there's essentially no loading apart from when we just started the, the build up. So, you know, the, the little loading gaps are maybe something that previous games have had a necessity, but we want to keep people on their toes throughout the gameplay here and not have to have them stop and start so much. So right. It's a pretty seamless experience overall. Now, you'll need this. Oh, stop. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And don't make my mistake. So people said they're going to miss the loading doors. Loading or hassle to kino tobira wa natsukashite. Like, you know, it's just a bit sad to see you there. The chat was coming out there. Like, sorry. Yes, sir. But for that, the rich game experience. Yeah, what we lose in classic door imagery, we gain in a rich gameplay experience. So hopefully, people can accept the trade-off. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a knife. Or seamlessly, carry the mask. Yeah, you can use the knife um, 
I hesitate to use the phrase real-time weapon change, <laughs> but you know, uh, you can bring it out anytime you like. You don't have to go in or out of the menu. To right. It. It's a bit like uh, I want to say like Resident Evil 4, where you have a uh, like a build a button, I believe, to use the knife. Four no toki mo ano knife da botan asain da tato mo desu kiryo. Sonna speedy na kan kaku nande. So this. Yeah, it's pretty similar. Yeah. Yeah, don't yeah. forget it is his first day on the job. So. Right. <laughs> Oops, there we go. Oh, that's it. So in the original game here, you know, we see like liquor is mm. actually in us. It's, um, uh, it's the liquor corridor, right? Like right. <laughs> Another, you're eating your breakfast, look away. Oh, yeah. Seen, but Sorry, <laughs> everyone. Let's spoil the surprise. <laughs> surprise, I say, as yeah. this happens. Please close the eyes. <laughs> Please escort small children out of the room. Huh? What? It's very graphic. Wow. Too spooky. <laughs> Yeah, something happened here, mm -hmm. right? Looks like, and uh, yeah, this uh, maybe mm -hmm. the liquors, yeah. mm. sumiato, <laughs> crow, crow, yeah, yeah, the claw marks and things. Like everyone expects the exact same scene, right? There's hints of the same story and claw marks and that kind of gash on the on the body, yeah, the strung up body indicate there's something similar to what you expect has happened, but there's a little bit of a twist of like now you're now you don't know when it's gonna come out, you can be scared again. Whereas mm. if you expect the exact same timing. It'd be exciting, but maybe not as scary. Right. So I think the team was saying you lo you want to keep the same key beats, right? But you kind of want to keep things fresh in between. Correct. Uh -oh. Ooh. <laughs> That's uh, that is gross. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that happened. <laughs> oh. <coughs> People like the uh, dismemberment <laughs> I've seen in chat. <laughs> シャッターの方で今の腕を打ち落とすところは大人気だったんです。ああ。いや、今回ね、いろいろあの、ゾンビに対してのリアクション。そういうところもかなり頑張ってるので、あの、大切な球をちゃんとこう狙ったところに打つ
Would it be a uh, Would it be a Resident shotgun? Evil without a shotgun? Yeah. <laughs> Need to use that wisely. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. It's probably easy to imagine we rehearsed all these grossness reactions yeah. <laughs> before we started the stream, but it's all real. <laughs> I've there's a lot of stuff I've not seen before. Yeah. <laughs> like looked over and was like, there's no face left. Yeah. Oh, alright. So it looks like there are definitely some uh, some classic elements in there as well. Like you know, it is it it is uh, does take place uh, in 1998, I believe. So yeah, the setting is still the original timeline, right? So right. things like film, maybe some younger players might not know what <laughs> yeah. that is. Yeah, <laughs> what is what is film exactly? What is yeah, undeveloped I mean? But <laughs> <laughs> Only 90s kids will remember film. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's uh, oh. Herb. Oh, yeah, it's it's a herbs. Yeah. What's it? And this is a wooden board. Hmm. What's that about? Maybe so you can actually use it to kind of protect Curve. the window. Uh. Not, you know, so zombies actually, you know, move. let in from mm. the window, so. So if you don't do that, if you don't find the board, you might be in, in more danger later, right? Right. <laughs> Zero car Oh, this is a uh, oh. safe room. I think one of your other questions was about safe rooms as yes. well, right? Yeah, so yeah. I had a couple of people ask about covering that. Covering a lot of the bases <laughs> here organically, but... Give oh. information. It's a useful photo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh, a, a it's kind a hint. of hint, uh, you know, for solving, you know, uh, mm. the puzzle. So we have another uh, another question. I think is pretty uh, pretty relevant here. Uh, <coughs> this from I believe it's pronounced Santar on Twitter asks, "How did you work on balancing the difficulty of the game now that you can freely aim? Um, has this changed the game to more of an action focus than the original?" Well, yeah, I think that that was a topic that's been coming up right. a few times. The fact that uh, a third-person perspective doesn't make a, a shooter game right. Right. Well, it's basically, uh, so, um, we're still kind of adjusting the, um, you know, difficulty level, um, so, uh, the, we actually wanted to, uh, provide the kind of intense, uh, combat, uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> <laughs> gameplay feel. Uh, especially, you know, against the uh, this, you know, like brutal, uh, you know, strong zombies. So, um, you know, it, it now you know, Leon actually he has the uh, kind of like uh, you know, uh, normal in a handgun, which is kind of you know, so hard to, uh, you know, uh, aiming at you know at the beginning. So if it, you know, he actually uh, stops and. Uh, you know, point the, you know, the aim at the zombies, it's actually, you know, s it's pointing, you know, just, you know, right. it's focusing on the certain point. So but standing, it takes standing time. still is better, right? But I mean, right. you're more vulnerable. So, but, you know, it's, he, once he, he gets like a customized, you know, uh, item, so he'll, you know, uh, have like more kind of, you know, easy aiming, um, mm. you know, shooting. Uh, mechanics, so. So there's still a good balance between, right, uh, freer controls, but also the tension of the fact that yes. you need to take a moment to line up the right shot, and if you don't get it right in time, you'll be right. bitten. Oh, it's familiar looking oh, key. key. <laughs> a fancy looking. That's it. Yeah, even though the with the game looking so realistic, oh. some of the puzzle objects what? might not be 
super realistic for the setting, but I think it's something you can't do without, right? You have to include that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Reading chat, people are uh, noticing that they're a little scared just now. What it means. <laughs> Bit of gunpowder there. Yeah. Just mix. saw as well but the um in the fine caution health indicator is on the menu screen but on the main gameplay it gets out of the way unless it needs to tell you like right. while you're being attacked it'll pop up and say caution it's a very nice touch mm. what is this um need bombs Ooh. Uh oh now he can keep uh, more items so useful at a time like this inventory mm -hmm. is full right People are very excited about the uh, the side pack. Yeah. <laughs> are you okay, Mark? I've got something to show you. It's important. Copy that. I'll be right there. So we had some intensely dark areas where it's like the the flashlight is the only illumination, and then, like kind of was saying, you know, the, the contrast between light and dark mm -hmm. isn't just in specific scenes like that. There are also suddenly you'll walk into a really well lit corridor, and it's got a different kind of creepiness. Right. Stop him. <laughs> or her. Can't quite tell. Yeah, I think it just gave him the breather moment to uh, <laughs> pull the gun out. Got the knife back at least. Mm -hmm. Just uh, enjoying a nice meal. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> choosing not to get involved is the best course of action. He's uh, back to the main hall. Mm -hmm. I think Marvin's holding up alright. Yep. There you are. Come here. Take a look. <laughs> yes. I knew she'd make it. Oh, you know her? Yeah. Name's Claire. I came into town with her. You can get to that courtyard through the second floor. Side. I believe we're uh, close to the end of the, end of the demo here. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Lieutenant. <laughs> this is what people, if they're coming to E3, can play, right? Yes. So on the booth here. Awesome. This is not how I imagined my first day. Back, sir, I got this. What the?
everywhere. I'm giving you an order, rookie. You save yourself first. What in God's name? <laughs>